Hi, my name is Dr. Kashif Prasada. I'm an emergency physician in Toronto, and I want to talk about video triage and building electronic stethoscopes. Why do we need something like this? Well, we know from the Chinese experience that approximately 15 to 20 percent of coronavirus patients will need some sort of critical care, including mechanical ventilation and intubation. We need to identify these patients quickly. We need to assess them safely um, in a setting that is able to see lots of patients. Physicians need to be able to examine patients safely, especially given that the coronavirus is spread through droplets. We know from the experience in China that protective equipment can quickly run out and healthcare workers can quickly be overwhelmed by both sheer numbers of patients and from colleagues who become ill with the virus. We know that there's a worldwide shortage of masks and other protective equipment. We need to develop a system to keep patients and staff protected. We need to find the sickest patients faster and we need to deal with massive surges in low acuity patients and identify the sicker ones. Hospitals should set up video triage kiosks where each patient can be quickly assessed and examined by physicians. This will be the most effective way to deal with a virus that is expected to infect 70% of the population. We can avoid the absolute chaos that was seen in Wuhan in the early stages of the epidemic where patients infected each other and staff resulting in worse outcomes. Now, the Parts are easily available on uh, Amazon or other retailers. They involve using disposable stethoscopes, such as this one, and a receiver microphone, um, such as this one. These connect, can connect by USB or they can connect um, using the analog jack. I've already pre-cut this segment, but what you do is you cut the stethoscope tube, you widen uh, the tube a little bit so that you can um, uh, make room for the actual mic. Um, you have to, in your microphone, it might have some um, gear on it. Um, and you have to remove that, uh, remove the tip to try to narrow the mic as much as possible. As so, um, now you're going to try to place the tube, the microphone into the tube. Now there's a trick um, with the uh, jack. There's a number of stripes which indicate um, you know, power readings, analog jacks are century old technology. Um, your jack could have two, three, or four stripes. Um, each device is different. Um, my PC, uh, two stripes works versus with the iPads, two to three stripes work, depending on what equipment you're using. As you can hear, the sound quality is excellent. Hearing heart sounds and then breath sounds uh, coming up now. And you can listen to this over any chat program such as FaceTime, Skype, or Duo. I invite you to test these. Uh, stay safe. Any feedback or tips would be highly appreciated. And um, hopefully we can get through this together. Thank you so much.